Welcome back to another Schmidt Farm video. Today is November 4th. It's the we've had the past three days have been 70 degrees for a high. Uh, moving forward, I think the highs are supposed to be in the 50s and rain tomorrow. Probably the last 70s we'll see for the year, uh, for the winter, for the season. So we're putting candy boards on today. Uh, so <clears throat> what you see is I've made um, this is a inch and a quarter deep with number four hardware mesh on it. This does not have a hole in it, uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, so we'll pop the top off the hive and get to work here. Um, I've already done my other two hives. I'm going smoke free here because there's just not that much activity due to the time of the year and temperature and things. This is my hive of Italians. It probably has the most uh, honey on it uh, that I left on it. Um, you can see they propolis this up really well. It's a good activity today. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay this right on top. Make sure I don't squish any of the girls. Try to get them to... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two layers of, or a layer of paper towels down. And I've got these half size jobs. So I can put a layer down like this and it almost covers the complete top. And I have my bucket. <clears throat> I mixed up 25 pounds of sugar with a quart of apple cider vinegar mixed in thirds so I could get a decent mix even mix mixed with a paint mixer I have a large drill that I can do that with uh, if you're gonna just try it with a cordless I started with my cordless but I tell you what I wore my wrist out in a hurry so I switched to my larger uh, whole hog and that was a lot easier um, <clears throat> so the reason why I'm not putting any, uh, I don't have a hole on the top of, in, in this frame, is because on these hives, the, the outer cover is peeled, and in my outer cover, I have a hole. You see that? <clears throat> so that acts as my winter top entrance if you will um, you know this will have a standard inner cover on top that they can climb up through uh, I'm choosing not I'm putting this all on here wet um, I'm just gonna pack it in as you can see like I said, I've split 25 pounds over the three hives. This is making a layer that's probably no more than about three quarters of an inch thick. And I tried to split it evenly over the three hives, so you figure you've got eight to 10 pounds of sugar on, on top here. Uh, then we'll put our standard inner cover on. That has a hole in the middle. And then the outer cover, telescoping cover, sits down like so. And they can eat up through there and, and uh, get to that. Um, I'm gonna change the camera around and show you a different angle. So my middle hive here, um, I still need to put an entrance reducer on it. I get the introducers on my other ones. Uh, but you can see that's a more of a standard uh, candy board with a small hole in the entrance there and it has just an inner cover uh, with a flat top on it uh, just like you would expect a telescoping cover to have. Uh, they've propolis this, this is a piece of concrete backer board 
um, as a top so it doesn't rot. And they have propolis that up to the inner cover really well, so I generally don't separate the two. Uh, so I know that's sealed well. And then I'll probably wrap this hive in some, um, well, they call it tar paper to help seal it up over the winter. And that's my hive of Carolinas that came from Dayton. Uh, they're probably my weakest hive. Um, this was my swarm capture. Uh, they're doing fairly well. Uh, they had more honey than the Carolinas and then my Italians are doing the best here. Uh, you see I have them on uh, three mediums over winter instead of the two deeps. Uh, normally I overwinter with a, a deep and two mediums but uh, that hasn't been real successful up here. I'm in Peoria area so central Midwest. That hasn't been the most successful the past couple of years so this year we're trying the double deeps uh, trying to leave them with some some good weight. Uh, the candy boards are new this year so hopefully that'll help them out and uh, we'll have some we'll have some bees come spring so uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Schmidt Farm.